good to see everyone here this morning. Amen. 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 sing uh, uh, the first and second last verses of number uh, it's number six uh, 46 uh, just a little talk with Jesus yes, sir. I once was lost in sin but he loves to me and did a little life from heaven did my soul Uh, 
Yes, one that start us off right. He'll make it all right. In the morning, he'll make it all he'll right. He'll make it all right. Uh, another song that, uh, uh, number 194, Hide You in the Blood. We'll sing the first, second, and fourth stanzas of that uh, song. And uh, this song reminds me all the time that we have a Savior in Jesus Christ and that yes, how he uh, will hide us. In his blood and will, yes, he will keep will. us on the right path yes, to glory. Yes. <clears throat> yes, he will. Let's see. <clears throat> Come from the lonesome way of sin. Oh, hide you in the blood of Jesus.
church. Good morning. Good morning. Today's scripture will be coming from 2 Timothy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 1 Timothy, yes, chapter sir. 2, yes, verses sir. 1 through 3. I'll be reading from the King James Version. Mm -hmm. And the scripture reads, I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications, uh -huh. prayers, yeah. intercessions, yeah. and giving of thanks be made for all men. All men. Mm -hmm. For kings yeah. Yeah. and for all that are in authority. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness yes. and honesty. Yeah. Yeah. For this is good and acceptable oh, good. in the sight of God our Savior. Oh, yeah. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Let me continue to stand for prayer. Amen. 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 God bless you. Again, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bless the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Truly, this is another day that the Lord has made. Amen. 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 I am thankful. Be a part of it. Amen. We bow our heads in prayer and we join together to offer up a prayer of thanksgiving and uh, appreciation to our God. Amen. Yes. Father God, again, oh Lord, you have allowed us to come before your presence, oh Father. Yes, Lord. You've allowed us to gather as a part of your people. Senior, and separate from all the others, but we're still a part of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We bless you and we thank you, dear Father, for today truly is a magnificent day. Yes, it yeah. is. It may not be what we <coughs> is, but in our hearts, the Lord, you yeah. have given us a, again just the glory of being alive and knowing you, oh Father. Mm -hmm. yeah. We come, oh God, thank you for all that you. Thank you for watching over us, oh God, as we went about our daily chores and doing this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. We thank you, O oh Lord, for being a part of our lives. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for sharing your word with us, oh thank Father, you, Father. Yeah. helping us to understand how and what this life is about, oh God. Yes, Lord. For truly, it's not about us. Mm -hmm. It is not about us. As much as the world has programmed us to believe differently. Sing songs of praise and glory yes. unto you. Yes. Yes. You want to tell this old dying world, oh Lord, there is a God. Yes. Not yes. a God, there is yes. the God. Yes. The God that gives life. Yes. The God that gives us hope. Yes. The God in whom we have faith in that he will keep his promise. Yes. He has offered us many, many promises. Yes. But the most yes. and the best one, our Father, is to spend eternity. Nothing else, oh Lord, that we know the hope for mm -hmm. than to be a part of your kingdom, dear Father. Yes. We bless you, Father, and thank you for allowing us to come before you this morning. And we ask you, God, that you will touch our hearts, dear Lord, that you will have given Brother Miles the words that he needs to say to us this morning. Amen. Amen. We need you, God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Over course, dear God, mm -hmm. help us to follow you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Please, Lord. Help us to come to the understanding that, as your word says, that, that the mind goes in Christ Jesus be in us, oh Father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To humble ourselves, oh Father, mm -hmm. to hunger after your word, dear God, mm -hmm. to understand how we fit into this great scheme, scheme, scheme of things. Service you this morning. Please. We hope that 
so glad to be here this morning. Uh, I didn't know I was going to be singing today. <laughs> I had, uh, I used to have a sheet uh, that I can go from and stuff, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just have to lean on the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, uh, Amen. That's a mighty good place to be. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, we're going to sing uh, uh, some verses of number 484. Uh, the song is called When Morning Comes. Um, I know Marcus knows it and Corey and others. Uh, it's uh, a song that we can think about uh, each and every day, how God looks over us and protects us and, and is just looking for our well-being in everything that we do. Number 484. <clears throat> Trials dark on every hand, and we cannot understand all the ways that God would lead us to that blessed promised land. But He will guide us with His eye, and we'll follow till we die. We will wonder. Um, 
We're going to sing uh, the first and last verses of uh, number 21, uh, Man to the Robe and the Crown, after which uh, Brother Miles will come forward and bring us the message for the day. <clears throat> Man to the Robe and the Crown. <clears throat> I'm gonna trade my earthly home for a better one, bright and fair. Christ left to prepare the mantle for his children in the air. I'm joining in that land where tears of sorrow can be found. And I'll receive a mantle where well, road and ground will be the new life of man.
for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on and say it like you mean it. This is the Lord's house. This is the Lord's house. And I am his child. And I am his child. I have come for none other purpose. I have come for none other purpose. Than to worship him. Than to worship, worship him. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. And in truth. Because he is the creator. Because he is the creator. And I am the preacher. And I am the preacher. And I, am the preacher. I will hear his word. I will hear his word. I will believe his word. I will believe his word. I will live his word. I will live his word. I will share his word. I will share his word. Turn to your neighbor now. Give him a friendly smile and say, neighbor. Neighbor. This is the day. This is the day. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us be glad in it. Let us be glad in it. Amen. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap of praise in the house of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Amen. Once again, it is a pleasure to be here in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. We had a grand gracious time. Yes, we did. On last weekend. Amen. All right. Amen. We had uh, our former leader, yes. uh, the planter of this work, yes. Evangelist Larry E. Johnson, uh -huh. uh, Lady Margaret Johnson was oh, with yeah. us on last yeah. week, oh, yeah. with all of our loved ones and families and friends, and, and I tell you, we had a time in the Lord, Amen. where the Johnson Amen. gave us a great message yeah. on last week. Uh, amen. That's right. Good to see you. But in that message, uh, Sister Stephanie, he gave us a great challenge. Amen. Amen. A great challenge to be about the Father's business, mm -hmm. Sister Kim. That's right. Uh, to be busy working for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, and he came right along our theme this year. Uh, and our challenge to this church is that each one bring one this year to Christ. Amen. Amen. And you only got half of your left. Mm -hmm. If you have not won your soul to Christ, you need to get busy. All right. and, and one of the key mm -hmm. things you ought to remember is that you need to be talking to people who don't know the Lord. All right. Amen. 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 Uh, now, it's all right to tell everybody about Jesus, but some folk are going to wrestle with you. They're going to tell you they're already saved, mm -hmm. already sanctified, already sealed with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You need to focus on folk that you know don't know the Lord. Amen. Uh, amen. 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 Uh, and set up those Bible classes. Yeah. Brother Spence and I are ready uh, to teach those classes. Sister Miles is ready to teach the women. Uh, I'll be right there as well. But we are ready. We are set on ready uh, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. When you come in here on Sunday... This is your refueling station. Amen. Amen. That's what this is. This is your refueling station. David, we, we pour into you so you can go out there and pour into the world. Amen. 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 It's good to see all of you today. It's so good to see you on today. And we thank God for your presence on today. Just want to remind you of the conditions and welfare of some of our family members. You may be looking around and don't see them today, and we want you to be aware of what's going on in their lives because they thought enough of you uh, to let the family know uh, what's going on with them, and we want to keep them, Brother Dayborn, yes, in our prayers. And I want to thank you all. Uh, 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 Jakai, I need you to move up about two benches, one or two benches, third or first. Third or further, thank you so much. And let me say this to you guys. I asked you guys two weeks ago to move, and you all moved expeditiously. Yeah. And I want y'all yeah. to know how much I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Uh, Amen. On behalf of this leadership. And I don't know about y'all, uh, Stephanie, but uh, I'm hearing some 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 sure enough singing voices behind my head. Yeah. Yeah. Now that they done moved up, David. Got that smooth tenor voice. I heard from Tamar on this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so uh, we, we just sound better mm. when we're closer together as yeah. a family. Amen. Yeah. I asked someone to move early and they said, Brother Miles, I'm going to do you better. I'm going to move up too. <laughs> and I tell you, it's just nothing like family working together for Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen family. Uh, Brother Cliff Pugh. Uh, contact us this morning. He's out working this morning. He's asking for prayers for him and his family. Uh, Sister Evans is out of town traveling. We'll be returning sometime soon. Um, she's out of town, but we want to pray for her. Brother Elliot and Sister Elliot is out of town. 
um, uh, tending to their son, uh, Tyrone, who is healing. And please keep Tyrone in your prayers, not only for physical healing, but also for salvation. Amen. And then also, Brother Carlos Emmons will be uh, receiving some test results on Monday, uh, tomorrow, if God be our helper. And I want to ask you all, please, let's keep our brother in our prayers Amen. that God Amen. will make his body cancer free. Amen. And that he and Sister Emmons, Sister Nancy, sweet, wonderful woman, uh, will be able to serve God's people for many more years to come. Uh, and then uh, you all don't know this family, but they're very close to my family and very close to the Far West Church of Christ, my home church in Chicago, uh, the Green family. I was notified a couple of days ago uh, that a uh, very close um, member former member of the church um, uh, uh, passed away uh, in uh, the Green family. I want you to remember the Green family and the loss of their mother. Uh, so please, let's keep the Green family in our prayers as well. Brother Johnson sends his love back to this church uh, and I think Brother Johnson really misses us. He's busy where he is. Um, but he sends his love to this church and, and, and what a wonderful time he had with us on last week and how much he appreciate uh, the love and the kindness from the leadership uh, in, on his behalf and Sister Johnson's behalf. And so we want the church to know how pleased he was while he was with us. I received so many text messages, even some phone calls about how wonderful this church is how loving and kind uh, this church is. And you all ought to give yourself a hand clap of praise on that. And so many, so many phone calls and text messages on how complimentary you all was, how, how hospitable you were, how you were bringing uh, food out to the van for the, the people that was leaving. And I tell you, they just, they are grateful. They are grateful. Now, I don't have to keep feeding this, y'all. When y'all see somebody sit back, y'all, somebody say something to them. Um, and, and I don't have to keep repeating it, amen. amen. Um, so y'all y'all help each other out while, if we, while we're in the sanctuary. Let's bow and let's pray. Man. God, our Father, we come this morning thanking you for this day and all blessings of life. We're grateful for our health. We're grateful for our strength. We're grateful for your mercy. We're grateful for your grace. Amen. And Father, we are thankful for the church of Christ, that old ship of Zion, and the salvation that has been placed in Christ Jesus, 2 Timothy 2 and verse number 10. Father, we're praying for unity and love among the brotherhood and among the brethren. And Father, we're praying this morning for those who we have brought before you by way of prayer requests. You know who they are. You know their cares. You know their concerns and their needs. We ask you in the mighty name of Jesus right now to provide their every need, whatever it might be. Now, Father, I'm asking you in the mighty name of Jesus to use my mind, use my eyes, use my mouth and my body uh, to work in unison. Uh, give me strength, teaching and preaching power Amen. that I might preach a word, a divine word to the people of God that it will land in a resting place in their heart where it will germinate, Father, and a great harvest of understanding and obedience will come forward, that you might be glorified, the lost might be saved, the saved might be edified, Satan might be terrified, and the man of God will be encouraged at the close of the day. Mm -hmm. This is our prayer. We ask in your holy son Jesus' name, let us all say amen. Y'all might as well come on and get ready to praise the Lord because I came to say a word on this morning. All right. I want to go back to our uh, text uh, uh, on two weeks ago. Uh, we started uh, this new series, Brother Marcus, uh, in the second quarter, which we almost out of. Uh, uh, but that's all right. Y'all know how I roll. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep on going. We're going to keep on going. Thank you, Adriana. Thank you. Nobody should be on any pew third or behind. 
I'm asking you to move up. If you're on the, the pew, be, be, be on the third pew from the end. All right. Uh, we started this second quarter theme, beloved, uh, uh, e essential time out, dedicated prayer and meditation. Let me say that again. Essential, essential time out, dedicated prayer and meditation. Have anybody noticed since they're getting older, have anybody noticed that uh, you got to be real careful in your pronunciation? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Come on, y'all, help me now. Yeah. 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 I, I found myself, Marcus, have to concentrate. Yes, sir. It looked like I, my tongue, I can't control my tongue yeah. like I used yes, to. Sir. I'm so sure glad I would practice being a cusser. <laughs> y'all ain't saying nothing oh, yeah. about yeah. uh, The essential time out dedicated prayer and meditation. Two weeks ago, we gave you the definition. If you don't have it, go back. We've been blessed with technology. You can go back and listen to the message, but we defined a few terms of our theme. Uh, we talked about the term essential, uh, absolute, necessary, extremely important. And then uh, we talked to you about this term called time out, uh, time for rest or recreation away from one's usual work or studies, Sister Miles. And then we talked about this term, uh, Brother George, this term dedicated. Especially when we're speaking in terms, Brother Spence, of a person, we talked about this term as devoted to a task or purpose, having single-minded loyalty or integrity. We gave you some synonyms for this term dedicated. Uh, committed, stalwart, uh, firm, steadfast, sister black, resolute and unwavering, uh -huh. uh, faithful, brother Marcus, wholehearted, uh, brother David, uh, enthusiastic, eager, zealous, driven. Y'all remember, don't you? Uh -huh. uh, passionate and fanatical and Dutiful and diligent and studious, but uh, beloved, so we know thus far that a dedicated and a committed, a steadfast and unwavering time out, a refraining from the normal happening of life is vitally necessary for life that we will be thriving in prayer and meditation to achieve and enjoy a life of quietness. Now all of that simply means is that you got to take some time and it is vitally important for you to spend some time with God near in prayer. Amen. Yeah, that's what it means, Sister Iris. Now, in the body of this message, Sensational Saints, notice now verse number one of our power text of 1 Timothy 2. Paul says, David, once again, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, let me hear you say first of all, first of all. supplications, prayers, and intercessions, and giving of thanks, Brother Tabor, be made for all men. Uh -huh. Take that hoodie off for me, John. Yeah, yeah, take that off for me. Yeah. What's going on with my ushers right here? My, my, my. Y'all got to see stuff. I, don't, I shouldn't see all of this. Y'all should take care of that. Say amen on your cake. Amen. Man. Don't be afraid to say nothing to nobody in this house. Man. Amen. Man, right. We are all submitted to God. Listen, beloved, notice the sense, Marcus, notice the sense of urgency uh -huh. and the tone, Sister Tory, of desperation and concern as the Apostle Paul writes to his son in the Gospel Timothy. He uses Brother Smith the word exhort. Uh -huh. Let me hear you say exhort. exhort. That's a good word to write down if you're taking notes. Exhort. 3870 is the strong reference number for this word exhort. And the word here is parakaleo. Let me hear you say parakaleo. Para Come on, Jayla. Let me hear you say it. Parakaleo. Parakaleo, para para Stephanie, means to call to or for. It means, Sister Black, to encourage. Mm -hmm. It means, Sister Kim, to summon, beseech, beg, or admonish. But Sister Iris, it also means to comfort 
encourage and console. Now, brothers and sisters, the Apostle Paul makes it crystal clear that at the very outset of his prophetic discourse, uh, that the request of actions following his opening statement are priorities, Selena, and are utmost importance, your tape. Listen, we got to understand. Beloved, you are not concerned with it. You don't beg for anything, Sister Jewel, that is not important. Have I got a witness in here? Sister Pat, you don't beg for stuff that's not important, things that don't matter to you. Uh, uh, you don't be begging nobody. You ain't even concerned with it. You don't even think about it. It ain't even on your radar. I wish I had some help in here. It's not even on your radar. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, what Paul is about to ask of his son Timothy is something that will bring encouragement, admonition, counsel, and warning, as well as comfort too. Seasoned saints, I don't know about you, but with the world that we're living in, Today, I need all the encouragement, Amen. admonition, all right. and comfort I can get. Sister Mason, let me say that again. In this present world that we're living in, I need all of the encouragement, admonition, and comfort of society that I can get. Uh -huh. Living in a world where innocent babies Teachers and administrators are being shot down in schools. Uh -huh. I don't know about you, but I need some encouragement. In a world where shoppers can't even go to the store to buy food for their babies and their family without being gunned down in the supermarket, uh -huh. I need some encouragement. In a world where a state senator can be carjacked on the north side of Chicago, uh -huh. I need some encouragement. Uh -huh. In a world where worshipers are gunned down while they're trying to worship God in the house of worship, yes, I need some comfort. Yes, in a world where a group of children, one just 10 years old, can carjack 12 different people in one night, Sister Kim. I don't know about you, but I need some comfort. Yes, in a world where a 12-year-old was arrested in Washington and charged with four counts of armed carjacking, we need some help, y'all. And Professor Christopher Herman of John Jay College of Criminal Justice, he declares, Brother Marcus, it's a disturbing trend that's done the majority of the time. Watch this. Simply, Sister Pam, for joy car riding. Uh -huh. Yes, they do it, Marcus, and use cars for other crimes. But the report says, Brother Tavon, that these young people, 10 years old, 12 years old, are stealing cars, shooting people, killing people mothers, killing people fathers, and sometimes it's simply for a joy ride. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but I need some comfort in this world. Amen. Simon Saints, I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but in a world where girls, girls street fights, I said girls street fights yes, sir. are on the ride. Yes, sir. I need some encouragement. Yes, sir. My son sent me a clip just the other day, Brianna, of two young ladies he went to high school with. Was in a brawl, a street brawl. And one of them jumped on top of a car, and the girl sped off and threw her off the car. And then another girl ran behind this other girl. Uh, you know, on the west side, I would say like a punk, but I'm not going to use that term, no, Marcus. No, no, no. But she, you know, okay. She wasn't man up. She wasn't man up face to face. She uh -huh. came from behind and started stabbing the young lady. I don't know about you, but when we live in times like this, we need a savior. Yes, we need some comfort. Yes. We need some encouragement. We need admonition. And all Paul is trying to tell you that when you get in situations that's beyond your control, when you get in a place where you're uncomfortable and have no rest, Paul is telling you, don't turn to Ebony. Don't turn to Jack. Don't turn to Oprah. Don't turn to your TV. Don't turn to your
your mama and daddy. Get down on your knees, get in a quiet place, and call on God who is able to give you comfort and give you peace. Yes, Amen. Yeah, Brother Tabor on there doing all this for street credit. Church, if there was ever a time that this nation needed encouragement, admonition, and comfort, Nia is right now. Saturated saints, look back at our ancient text one more time. First Timothy 2 and 1, Paul declares the first thing that needs to be made when addressing the Father are supplications. Uh -huh. Let me hear you say supplication. Supplication. Uh, the word here comes from a Greek word, 1162. And it's the transliteration of the word is Deasis. Let me hear you say deasis. D-E-E-S-I-S. D-E-E-S-I-S. Deasis. And the definition literally means a need, Adriana. Mm -hmm. uh, Jarrell, it is an entreaty. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at your word studies of this word, and you begin to look at the cognate, mm -hmm. C-O-G-N-A-T-E, the cognate of the word, which simply means now, the same li linguistic um, uh, or orientation of the word or the der der derivation of the word or same root word of the same word that you speak of. Uh -huh. And the cognate of this word really means praying for a specific felt need. Uh -huh. It is a heart felt petition. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It is coming, Sister Kim, arising out of a deep personal sense of lack and want. Deasis mm -hmm. ultimately comes from the root dia, which really means or implies a felt, a heartfelt need that is personal mm -hmm. and it is urgent. Man. Sensational saints, I don't know who I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who needs to hear this. But I've lived long enough in this mundane life to know that if, if it's any way possible that I'm going to engage this life long pursuit of holiness, mm -hmm. to live a thriving life in Christ, I'm going to have to be blessed with the divine and holy grand gracious privilege Amen. of offering up my supplication to the great God of heaven and earth. Amen. And the reason why some of us are doubting God now mm. is because we haven't spent enough time Amen. in God's Amen. word Amen. to know how God works. Amen. Amen. So when God don't show up like you think he should show Amen. up, when God don't think Amen. like you think he should Amen. think, then you begin to say something like, I just don't know. Uh -huh. I, I just don't know about life. I, I just don't understand why God. Well, if you get to know God, right. you'll understand why God allows certain things that he allows. Saturated saints, if there's anybody here that I have, uh, 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 that I have touched, uh, your life experience if there's anybody here that have understood and found themselves to be in want in life uh -huh. because that's why we send supplications uh -huh. because it is a sincere urgent need and not just a want mm -hmm. but in this life David I have been in want yes, sir. in this life Marcus I have been lacking uh -huh. in this life. Brother George, I've had some needs yeah, yeah. that need to be met. Uh -huh. In this life, I've had and I've been in a state of urgency. Uh -huh. I double dog daddy this morning <laughs> to sit up in this sanctuary mm. and with your halo cock to the side. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, accelerating and perpetrating the notion uh -huh. that you have never been in want, that you have never been lacking, uh -huh. that you have never been in need. Right. 
and you've never been in a state of emergency. Well, beloved, let me close up my toolbox this morning uh -huh. as I prepare to end my day's work laying the sermonic foundation of the sermonic castle. Uh -huh. And may I give you a personal testimony, Sister Miles. Uh -huh. And may you, maybe you can see, Stephanie, yourself in my testimony. Right. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, dare I remind you as I head to my seat, may I remind you with your saved and sanctified self, may I remind you that you haven't always been where you are. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. You yes. haven't always had what you had. Now before you put your hand on your hip and let your backbone slip and get upset, when I say you, I'm talking about me. When I say you, I'm talking about you and your parents. When I say you, I'm talking about my lineage and your lineage. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. You have not always had the money you got in the bank. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. You haven't always had the money. Come on, Sister Miles, say amen. You haven't always had the money in your pocket yes, that you got today. Am I right about it? There was a day when your money was funny yes, and your change was strange. And I've had a witness here. And if we tell the truth about it, some of us is just one paycheck from going into trouble. Am I right about it? You have not always been cruising in your fine automobile. There was a day that you were riding in your hoop ticket. Just happened to get from point A to point B. Y'all ain't gonna help me. You have not always styled, sister girl. You ain't always styled and profiled with your Chanel and Lowe or Kimora Lee Simmons. Am I right? Say amen when you can. Brother man, you ain't always sported your Tom Ford, your money exchange, or your yay. Come on, Jamie, help me here. If you were like me, brother, there was a day when you had to sport your tough skins from Sears and Roebuck. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. Okay, okay, Sears and Roebuck, grab your soul. There was a day you had to shop at Kmart. Okay, Kmart, grab your soul. There was a day you had to shop at Montgomery Wards. Okay, Montgomery Wards, grab your soul. Maybe you were the one who I met at the thrift store. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't always had what you had, I'm right about it. You have not always eaten New York strip, ribeye, and T-bone steaks. Uh -huh. There was a day, good God Almighty, there was a day when you rubbed on ground beef. You didn't know what no ground round was. You had ground beef for burgers, meatloaf, and sloppy joe. Am I right about it? And it got real bad. You had Vienna sausage and potted meat and peanut butter and jelly. Am I right about it? But I got news to you. Peanut butter and jelly is still good. I just had one the other night with a cold glass of milk. You've not always been where you've been. You haven't always been welcome or allowed at the local country club. There was a day when your club was that old cardboard box that you and your come on, Hollis, help me. That cardboard box that you and your friends made a clubhouse out of. Am I right about it? You haven't always attended Ivy League. Universities, because there was a day when you and your grandmama weren't even allowed to learn how to read. Am I right about it? Sensational saints, you and your lineage was in a want need and was lacking in things of social status and education. But God, but God in His goodness and His mercy. Has given us the grand, great, great, gracious privilege yes. of being able to bow down and to pray to Him and show Him and share with Him our supplication. Yes. You didn't know how to pray. You're going to know after this series. Amen. Yeah. 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 In closing, oh, my time is up. In closing, how many of you know that was not the only or the most important thing? that you or your family was lacking and needed. 
You and your family. I and my family. Brother George, the entire world was lacking salvation and needed to be rescued from our sins. Excuse me, but I, I got to make it personal. I was waywardly wondering in want. Brother Marcus, I was lost and lacking eternal lasting love. Amen. Amen. I was nestled knee high in knees. Uh -huh. I was undergirded in a state sosiris of agony. Uh -huh. I'm talking about me, y'all. Uh -huh. But thanks be to God who giveth those who seek salvation the power to make supplication. Uh -huh. Amen, Lord. I don't know about you, but in the year of our Lord, 1977, mm -hmm. I cried out with a specific need of emergency. Uh -huh. I submitted, Brother Tabor, to God a heartfelt petition. Mm -hmm. It was arising out, Brother Jalen, of a deep, personal, soul-saving need. And a sense of lack and want of salvation. On Sunday night PM service, September 25th, 1977, I cried out to the Lord in supplication. Amen. And great God Almighty, He answered yes. my prayer. Amen. I said, He answered right. my prayer. I was done Marcus hearing and believing the gospel mm -hmm. that Jesus came he died and he rose on the third day mm -hmm. after I was done repenting Jarrell of my sins mm -hmm. after I was done confessing the sweetest name ever uttered on mortal tongue mm -hmm. what did you say Miles what did you say I declared that Jesus was the son of the living God. Amen. I gave my hand, Sister Black, to my brother. But I gave my heart to God. Amen. Then I went down in the chilly waters of baptism. That's not just an allegory. You see, I was in a church building that was converted from an old cleaners. Send the block walls. Mm -hmm. And the pool markers was made out of concrete. Uh -huh. yes, and Brother Tabor, on the back wall of the pool was on an external wall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which yes, sir. simply send the blocks. Uh -huh. No insulation. Uh -huh. I'm talking about chili waters. Uh -huh. yes, and in the winter, Sister Kim, we had to break the ice mm -hmm. in the pool mm -hmm. to be baptized. Lord, wow. When was I baptized? September 25th. Mm -hmm. That's cold time, y'all. Yeah, yeah. But I went down <laughs> in the chilly waters of baptism. Yeah. A sinner. Mm -hmm. But I came up a saint mm -hmm. with all of my sins washed away. And then God was so good that he gave me a gift that nobody else could give me. He gave me the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He wrote my name in the book of life. Don't you want that same grand gracious privilege Amen. of supplication? Amen. Don't you want to be able to yield to God your deepest and greatest needs? Yes, Haven't you learned yet that you can't trust men All right. with your deepest secrets? Yes, right. Haven't you learned yet that you can't trust folk that got the same blood running in their veins? To be there for you when you need them? Amen. Haven't you learned it yet? Yeah. That your job will dismiss you yeah. after 20 and 30 years yeah. like you are nobody? Uh -huh. <laughs> Haven't you learned it yet? Uh, that your job to hire a CEO who don't care about how long and how faithful you've been? Yes, sir. Aren't you learned yet? That your children that you carry nine months gave them life 
watched over them, protected them, fed them, clothed them. Haven't you learned that that same nappy-headed child will kick you to the curb? I'm trying to tell you that you can't depend on people and things because people and things will let you down when you get in your place of darkness, when you get in your place of want, when you get in your place of need. Don't call the preacher. Call no God. Give him your supplication. That emergency need. That deep, deep desire theme of your heart. Uh -huh. You tried enough people stand on your feet and they keep letting you down. You tried enough of your family members, but they keep failing you. Uh -huh. And I don't know about you, but after a while, you get sick and tired of excuses. Amen. Hello, somebody. But I hope you mature. And when they start giving those excuses, I hope you mature to the point where you say, okay, listen, I love you, but I got to go. Mm -hmm. Don't argue with them. Don't argue. I'm trying to be an example for you. I don't argue with you when you learn to be. <laughs> Hello? When you make an excuse for me, I don't argue with you. I dare one person to raise their hand and say, Brother Miles, have argued with me. Because I'm not going to argue with you. I am not your daddy. Mm -hmm. yes. Listen to me. Listen. When I stand here and give you the word of God, I am not trying to make you do nothing. Right. Amen. My job is to unveil to you what God has said. Amen. My God, job is to cry aloud and warn you yes. of what your destination will bring you if it's not according to love. Look, when I leave here, I'm not trying to think about you until it's prayer time. I pray for everyone in this church all through the day, but doing prayer time. But you ain't going to take up my gun smoke time. <laughs> so Miles, you better say amen. Because I don't let her take up my time. Coming in, so the black woman has put on a dress that they how this looking in. Why do we got to stand in front of the TV? <laughs> There's plenty of room over here. <laughs> and I can see you fully over here. <laughs> and she had the nerve to say, I'm standing in front of the TV so you can see. I can see you over here. <laughs> I give you your time. Don't take up my gun smoke time. Because you're not going to give it to you. I'm not going to give it to you. Call on God. Amen. 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 First thing we talk about is supplication. We're going to go a little further. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to talk about the people who God asks us to pray for. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you why so much need. Mm -hmm. I want every saint of this church to become more committed in your time of prayer. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. I'm not talking about corporate time. Amen. Yes, you should be here for corporate prayer. But I'm talking about your private supplication. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You want to be better? Learn how to talk to God more. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. And from a sincere place. Because yes, God ain't going to let you waste his time either. Amen. See, God knows if you're playing games. Amen. He knows. Yes. And he ain't going to let you waste his time. Amen. Amen. You know, 2 Thessalonians 2.10, God get angry. When you keep putting a fist of rebellion in his face, and the Bible says he will send you a strong delusion and cause you to believe a lie. That means you won't be able to, you won't even be able to believe truth anymore. And then he's gonna send you to hell. It's in there. It's in the books. It's in the book. Second Thessalonians 20. Look at it, it's there. Yes, God is a loving, sweet, kind God, but God also gets tired of rejection. So what I'm trying to get you to do this morning. Is get closer to God Amen. in your supplication. Those things that you need the most, those things that are coming from a deep yearning place in your heart, you need to give it to God. Tell Him what you need. Tell Him what you want. If you truly want to be better, show God. Show it to God in supplication. Amen. Honest, true 
yearning prayer for what you need, for what you are lacking. God is faithful, and he will bless you. If you're here today and you need to be saved from your sins, you've heard that Jesus is Lord. Know that he died for your sins, that he rose again and established the church of Christ. And that salvation is in that church, 2 Timothy 2 and 10. And that there is no salvation in any other name than that which is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Understand that. Come down this aisle. I'll ask you one question. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? And if you confess yes, that means you have already determined in your heart to repent. That means to turn from the world and turn to God. Have a different thought about God. That's truly what repentance is. And if you confess Christ to be the Son of God, Matthew 10, 32, he said he'll confess you before the Father, which is in heaven. And then we will bury you in a watery grave of baptism for the remission of your sins. And the Bible said the Lord will cleanse you of all your sins and add you to the church. Acts chapter 2, verse 41 and 47. Then John, that great revelator, that son of thunder, writes in Revelations 2 and 10 that if you live faithful unto death, you receive a crown of life that shall never be away. You need some help. You need to be delivered. There's trouble in your home. There's trouble in your heart. You're un you're, you're un at ease. You're in depression. Tell the Lord what you need with an honest heart. And he will deliver you if you're ready to receive it. Jesus You've been good to me. Oh, and when I grow weak and fall. 
Sister Stephanie, thank God for another day and opportunity to serve him and fulfill his purpose for my life. Thank God for waking me in a reasonable portion of health. Thank God for all my challenges and how he allows me the ability to thrive in spite. In spite of Thank God for his grace and mercy. Amen. I thank God for my children, extended family, and my CP family. Please pray for Sinclair's health, her recovery. Please pray for her spiritual and mental well being as well. Please pray for all those traveling. Special prayer for our CP family. with us this morning. Please pray for healing for Tyrone Elliott. Please pray for Brother and Sister Miles, their health, family, and our CP family as a whole. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Sister Pam Garrett, I just want to thank God for all of his blessings, especially for seeing me through heart angiogram this week. It's been 10 years since the last test doctor says there's been very little change. Amen. Amen. I know God will not, I know God will not do for me what I can do for myself. But diet and exercise is so hard <laughs> and there are days I fail miserably. And you are not by yourself. Amen. 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 Now, I'm not going to lie, I couldn't button this jacket a few weeks ago. I got a long way to go. <laughs> Sister, Mrs. Pam, you're not by yourself. You will be sincerely praying. So thankful for his care and protection. Asking for prayers for my friend, Bridget, whose grandson passed away by mistake. Let me pray. Thank you, Sister Pam. Lead 
believe this is Jalen Brooks. I want to come thanking God for all things he does for my family. Thanking him for your wonderful birthday party for Jason Webster. I want to send special thanks to all the participants as well as gifts. Also special prayers for Brianna spiritually and mentally as well as her mother Elizabeth, as well as myself and my personal walk with God. And I pray I trust more in him and less in me. Amen. Amen. We have some pictures of little Jay's son. We have some pictures of his birthday. Uh, as soon as I share them with Brother Marcus, we like to share when our family get together. Amen. And share with each other. That's a blessing. Let me say that again. That's a blessing. Amen. That's why I say to you, anything that your children are involved in that Sister Miles and I can share with you, mm -hmm. encourage them, we're just a phone call away. Just a phone call away. Because it encourages children uh, when we support them. Amen. Let's pray together. Our holy and our righteous Father, we come now thanking you for this day, Lord. A day of worship, a day of praise, a day of prayer and fellowship. We are grateful for this opportunity to come collectively, corporately, to pray to you, to worship you, because we know in other countries they cannot do this. So we're thankful for this privilege. We're praying for your son, our brother, Jalen Webster, that you will continue to bless Jason with many more years filled with love, joy, peace, good health, and prosperity. Thankful for all of those who participated and encouraged their family in the celebration of life. Praying a very special prayer for Jalen and his wife, Brianna, for their spiritual and mental well being. We're praying for their personal walk, that they will go stronger through the word, that they will increase their prayer life, that they will be intentional in giving their supplications. They're lacking their wants and their needs to you. Praying that they will put full trust in you and no trust in me. Praying for Sister Garrett this morning, Thanking you for what you've already done for her and her heart exam. We're praying, Father, that you will reverse whatever that has been done. Reverse that damage. Reverse that blockage, whatever it might be. Give Sister Garrett many years filled with love, joy, peace, good health, and prosperity. We're praying, Father, for her dear friend, Bridget, who lost her grandson. We know death brings about pain, <coughs> sorrow, and tears. But we actually use Sister Garrett as a word of comfort and strength that will turn and guide her to you, that she might have rest of nights and peace with angels, that she might understand that first step to healing is accepting your holy divine will. Praying for Sister Garrett's fitness journey along with all of us who are trying our level best. Sister Miles, myself, Sister Stephanie, others who make a plea. We're asking you to help us, Lord, that we will not just present our bodies to you as a living sacrifice as Paul encourages us in Romans 12.1 but that we will present our bodies as a healthy living sacrifice Amen. for your glory and for our benefit. We're praying for Sister Stephanie this morning. I ask you to continue to bless Stephanie, family, Lord, in every way they stand in need of. Bless her in her strength and her health. We're praying for her daughter Sinclair that you will please Give Sinclair a complete healing of her body. Lengthen out the threads of her life. We're praying for our children's overall well-being. 
their dedication to you, their commitment to you. Pray for travel and grace for all of our family members who are traveling, that you will bring them home safe and sound, and that they'll find all things well. We're praying for healing for Brother Tyrone, for Brother Elliot's son, Tyrone, that you will heal his body, that you also allow him a space of time to accept, accept you before the last thing too late. He may become a member of your church, that his soul might be saved. We're so thankful for Sister Stephanie and others. We pray on my behalf and Sister Reynolds for our help, Amen. Our CP family. We're praying, Father, that you will just bless all of us as we stand in these hours. Mm -hmm. Then we're praying for your daughter and our sister, Sister Tamika Robinson. Father, I ask you to continue to bless Sister Robinson mm -hmm. in every way she stands in these hours. Mm -hmm. And then we're praying now for her friend and her son. Father, we're praying that you will touch and heal the bodies that you will take away whatever the ailment might be preserve their life and heal their body bless Sister Robinson in her pandemic war Father we're grateful to see those who are with us today but perhaps not been with us. You know who they are. We're thankful for their presence. Ask you in the mighty name of Jesus to continue to bless them, Lord, that they may continue to do your holy and divine will and be faithful to you in their corporate attendance. <coughs> now, Father, when it's yours to call now as answer, we ask for a peaceful hour in heaven, trusting that we will hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant, on the other side of this life. It is our sincere prayer that we shall never die at the hands of man by mechanical failure or accident, but simply sleep away in sweet peace and hear you say, well done, on the other side of this life. This is our prayer. We ask in your holy son, Jesus, name. let us all say, amen. 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 Did you receive the word this morning? Yes. Amen. Right. This morning. This morning is my sincere prayer that this word will find a place in your heart Amen. and that a great harvest of obedience and understanding will come forward, that God will be glorified, that some lost saved, soul will be saved, that the saved will be edified, that Satan will be terrified, and that the man and woman of God at the close of the day will be encouraged. Keep me in your prayers as I continue to pray for you, and that God will bless us to continue to grow in the faith continue to please him and broaden the borders of his kingdom. Amen. I want to ask you now to prepare your hearts and to prepare your minds as we prepare to commune with the Lord. Amen. Every heart should be on Jesus and what he did for our salvation. And he asks us to do this in remembrance of him. Amen. Because if it wasn't for the Lord, we will be most me and most miserable. God bless you. As Brother Miles said, this is a time that's about him. And who is him? Jesus. John chapter 1, verse 29, it says, The next day he saw Jesus coming towards him, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. That's who he was, who he is. But what did he do? Sacrifice. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. That he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his stripes, we are healed. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to partake in the remembrance of your death and suffering on the cross in this form of communion. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless this bread, which represents your, your body, and the fruit of the vine, which represents your blood. We're so thankful for the sacrifice, and Heavenly Father, help us to always remember that we ought to live as a living sacrifice Amen. to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 show the crowd almost every game mm. there was a scripture mm -hmm. that somebody had on a sign oh, yeah. in that crowd and this scripture mm. even people that don't even really believe right. know this scripture mm -hmm. atheists right. know this scripture mm -hmm. and that scripture is John 3 16 yeah. mm -hmm. for God so loved the world. That's yes, sir. It. That's it. Meaning that he loved the world so much. For God so loved the world, he gave. I stop right there. I don't even have to say it. Talk to the whole scripture. He right. loved. Yeah, he loved us so much that he gave. Now we always talk about in Second Corinthians, the ninth chapter, mm -hmm. about God loves. A cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. God loved us so much, he gave. Yeah. Mm. How can you not be cheerful about giving back to somebody that loves you so much mm. that they gave? That's right. And they gave you something that you could never even give yourself. We couldn't even give that back. That's right. We can't give God life. Yeah. No, sir. But that's what he gave us. Now, I don't know. We are, Our pockets are all different. But whatever you have, God gave it to you. Yeah. And let me explain something to you. Wherever you think you are and whenever you have a pity party, I don't know about you, but God has a way of showing me yeah. that 
and somebody doing worse. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you got, somebody else don't have that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I would not play with the giver. You play with somebody else, but don't play with the giver. <laughs> Man. Because whatever situation you're in, you got the ability That's to right. make it all right. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm just saying, I, and, and, and I don't say this to criticize nobody or to put nobody on the spot. I just don't want you to go through some of the things that I went through. Amen. I just, to figure it out, like, oh, Benny, this is for real. I want you to know that it's for real. That's all. That's all I'm, I'm, I'm saying to you. Take it for what it's worth. But don't get before God and say, Brother Marcus didn't tell you. Amen? Amen. Amen. I love you, but I got to tell you sometimes. You got to let people know sometimes, Brother, Amen. brother, brother Miles. Right. Sometimes. All right. Let's go to God and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to give back to you. Heavenly Father, we take for granted all that you bless us with. Amen. Heavenly Father, we take for granted the hamburger when we go on the stage. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we... We, we, we take for granted the bucket when we want the bins, mm -hmm. Heavenly Father. Yep. But Heavenly Father, no matter what you blessed us, yeah. Heavenly Father, help us to understand that. Mm -hmm. Help us to understand that we can't beat you yet, yeah. Heavenly Father. Right. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that you haven't taken your hand off of us in spite of right. us sometimes and getting caught up in ourselves. Yeah. Heavenly Father, bless this contribution that's been given up either online or those that will be given today. And Heavenly Father, help us to be good stewards of this, uh, these funds that are taken up, that will be used to uplift your kingdom. And as always, the praise, glory, and honor will go to you. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Everything I have, everything God gave to me. Special thanks to all who made Central Point's 20-year anniversary a Amen. success. Yes, sir. It truly was a great time. Amen. And we've had a great, uh, great time. And uh, brother and sister uh, Miles, uh, I mean, five-year anniversary with us. Yes, sir. So we're thankful for them. 
weekly Bible study on Zoom Wednesday at 7 p.m. every Wednesday. Great opportunity, great Bible study for us to grow and encourage one another. Uh, donuts for Dad. Uh, Central Point men will meet on Saturday, uh, June the 17th at 10 a.m. to enjoy donuts and fellowship. Please plan to attend Please. and invite someone else to come. Please so we're there. looking forward to that time together. Uh, ladies Prayer and Devotion, uh, mark your calendar, uh, Thursday, June the 22nd at 6.30 for the Ladies Prayer and Devotion. Uh, again, this occurs every other Thursday. Uh, and then we also have the uh, participation code and the telephone number uh, of a number that needs to be dialed in to be a part of that. Uh, ladies Zoom uh, Fellowship, the Ladies Zoom class, uh, Living as God's uh, Kingdom Woman, will be canceled for the month of May and June. Uh, please use this time to have uh, family devotion time, and it will resume on Sunday, uh, July the 23rd at 5 p.m. So this is a great opportunity to just have family time and devotional time with our families that we might uh, thereby grow uh, with one another. Central Point prayer request, press line uh, during the week if you have uh, specific prayers that you like the leadership and others to pray for you during the week, please uh, tune into that, that we might be able to pray uh, along with you during the week. Uh, uh, we want to pray for one another uh, as we uh, journey through this life. Also, uh, our giving options, uh, many of you know those. Please uh, take advantage of those whenever you have opportunity. Uh, Central Point Prayer Request Line. Uh, this is 6.30 a.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. And uh, then there's the telephone number. And then also, I keep saying telephone number. That kind of sounds old-fashioned. <laughs> I'm old school, so I don't have to add that. Way. But uh, also the participation code and that you might be able to join in on the prayer during the week great opportunity um, sisters and brothers from all over the country join in on that line uh, if we had any visitors today just looking around I don't see any visitors uh, so thank you for all all of us who have come today uh, to worship our great God uh, one other uh, announcement that we have of course let's continue to remember our 2023 capital fundraising uh, campaign. Uh, we're thankful for all who have uh, put forth the effort and uh, pledged money for that. Uh, we're still uh, working on some things in the congregation. As you can look around, there's a lot of things changing, uh, not only upstairs, but downstairs. Uh, of course, our main uh, large project is going to be the parking lot. So don't forget your pledges and, uh, you know, just you know, do it when you can and add on to it or whatever. And uh, that way we can we can achieve the things that we want to uh, strive to uh, make happen uh, this year. Uh, prayer list, uh, uh, Dr. Ophir Miles, the Hallman family, AJS Management Logistics Incorporated, Cliff Pugh and family, Matthew and Ramona Miles, Miss Florine Boatman, the Cannon family, Stephen Black and family, Gypsy and David Jones. Uh, June birthdays. Uh, started off the uh, month of June on the 12th, uh, Rose Oliver. On the 13th, Jay Son. Did I get that right? All right, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, his birthday is on the 13th. Coming up there, yeah, all right. Uh, Marilyn uh, Basham, her birthday is on the 15th. June Pfeiffer on the 16th. Uh, Kai, Kai Dill, all right, got it, okay, thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. I gotta get with you on work on that one. Um, Jackson, her birthday is on the 27th. He, oh. Gage's son. I gotta get with her. I 
don't need to be getting this, the the the, uh, the uh, son or girl part of it. I know that part. Uh, also, uh, John Tay uh, Atkinson, his birthday is on the 28th, and those are the birthdays in the month of uh, uh, June. And we also have an anniversary, Adriana and David McKinney's their All right. uh, All right. anniversary is on the 21st. Thank you for all those who have birthdays coming up this month, and uh, we're thankful. We want to say as a leadership, and I'm sure Brother Miles will say also, that we're thankful for all your work, the hard work. Amen. Continue on. We still have a lot of work to do, but we're so thankful for this congregation. You guys have come through for us 110%. Right. Uh, we've uh, gotten good uh, vibes from a lot of the people who came and That's visited right. us. And, you know, just keep doing the work that we need to do. And we're, God's going to bless this congregation. He's going to lead us in a special way. And so we, we want to especially personally say we thank you for all your efforts and all your work here. That's it. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Spence. Thank you so much, Brother Spence. I want to just reiterate, uh, don't much for Dad, please. Uh, it's important that our men be here. Man. We're not, not going to be here long, maybe maybe an hour and a half. Uh, we're asking to be here. Uh, we have uh, limited time that we're together as men. So we're asking to please make time to be here. We won't be here long. Uh, we won't take up most of the day, but it's time for us to bond together and to uh, spend some time together. Man. Also on our uh, 2023 uh, capital uh, campaign fundraiser, we want to encourage those of you uh, who have yet to uh, pay on your, on your pledge to do so. We encourage you kindly to do that. Those who have not pledged, we encourage you to do so because 2024 is coming. Man. Man. We don't want you to get behind because we're going to have a 2024 campaign. <laughs> we, you know, <laughs> at the beginning of the year, you know, we, you know, we don't want you to get far behind. Right. Uh, so we want to ask you to prepare your hearts and minds for that already. Uh, and we, we're going to have, and I'm going to make sure, I promise you this, and I fail to do this, and I ask for forgiveness, but we're going to make sure we have a report for you on next week of what we've accomplished already with the uh, blessed, blessings and gifts that you all have given to your congregation. We want to give you a report on that so you can see what we've already done. And I tell you, Brother Spence tried to put it back on me, but this is the hardest working man physically uh, at this church. And uh, we're thankful for Brother Spence and the hard work that he's doing with his team. Um, we're so thankful. Um, we gave out certificates of special recognition on last week. Uh, some of you could not be here, uh, but we wanted to make sure you received your certificate. We explained that these were for individuals who have been faithful, dedicated, and committed beyond just attendance. Uh, they have worked in areas behind the scenes. Some of them work, you know, throughout the year on things. Uh, they don't say no uh, when I call, when Sister Miles call, or when the leadership call. They don't say no. Uh, they go beyond just attendance, and we want to recognize those individuals. And uh, Sister Pam Garrett was out last week, uh, not feeling her best. Uh, but Sister Garrett, we want you to come. <laughs> Sure. I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Let's stand on our feet and prepare our hearts and minds. 
I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Oh, we're all blind. Look, I stand up. Sing it again. Father, we thank you for this day that you blessed us and allowed us to come out to worship in spirit and in truth. Heavenly Father, we ask you to lift up those that have requested prayer today. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless those that are traveling and those that are ill or out of place. Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with us as we leave here today, that you keep your loving arms and protection around us until that time that we're able to meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Try to beat me, try to beat me to the punch. Huh?